If you are in the Boost theme and you have a plugin, a local plugin or some type of other plugin, and you'd like to have access to that plugin from the left-hand menu, again, I said in the Boost theme, there is a way to do that programmatically. And it's uh, quite clever. It's not recommended necessarily because it does add an extra item to the left-hand menu, which can get pretty long, especially when you go into a course. So it's not necessarily the ideal way, but here's the way you can do it. And I found it useful in certain circumstances. So this is for the staff manager. You can see here, staff manager is an extra item in the left-hand boost menu. And to add that, let's go have a look at the code. We have our staff manager local plugin. In here, we have our normal version details, which is there. We also have our index page, which is the page that it defaults to. All of that's set up and working, so that's fine. If we create a lib.php file, and for the lib.php, we create a function, which is local. It's based on it being a local plugin. Staff manager, which is the name of our plugin. Then we have underscore extends underscore navigation and the navigation we're extending is the global navigation and there's the navigation object just in there. First of all, I've added in a capability check just to check that if the person doesn't have the capability of Moodle site config, which means they're basically a, a Moodle admin, uh, then it just returns without adding the navigation. So the idea with this one, and you can change this to see what you need, whatever capabilities you need this for, but I've just created it so only admins can access this link or can have the link appear. So once they get past this, the has capabilities, then we get down to our navigation. And here we have main node equals navigation add. And this is where we create the navigation. What I've used here is out of our language file, the get string plugin name from the local staff manager. So that just puts the plugin name as the actual name of the navigation. And then we have the location that the navigation goes to. Now, these settings here, I'm not going to explain what all of them are, only the last one uh, in here, which is the show in flat navigation. And you need that for it to be able to appear in the left hand boost theme menu. So that shows in the flat left hand navigation. That's all you need to add. You obviously have to increase the version number and reinstall it so that it actually finds the navigation. So go through that process. After that, you will have your staff manager as an item in the left-hand navigation that someone can click on to go to your plugin. And that takes them to, in this case, the local staff manager, and that defaults to the index file that I have in here. And that's how you can add a item to the left-hand menu in the boost theme for your plugin to make it easy for people to access. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. If you'd like some help on creating plugins, uh, or you need a plugin created, let me know. I'll put some details down the bottom. And also there's a couple of courses there on how to create a plugin, uh, how to create a block, and how to create a child theme as well, which I can go through and show you how to do all of those things. Um, my name is Chris Richter, and I'll see you in the next video.